Hello, everybody. This is Surprise Stair Games. Um, my name is Alan Paul, and uh, my colleague is Graham Tate, and we are going to do a two-player run-through of War of the Three Sanchos um, as part of our Game Found campaign. Um, and um, uh, I, I run Surprise Stair Games, and I've been running the Game Found uh, campaign. Uh, the, the War of the Three Sanchos was designed by Dave Mortimer, developed by myself, and um, we are looking forward to publishing the game in the next six months. Uh, Graham, would you like to introduce yourself, please? Uh, hi, guys. Uh, Graham Tate, as Alan has said. i am uh, been a gamer for a long time, like a lot of Euro games, but also have a, a hankering to play lots of war games, which is where Alan and I meet up and beat the hell out of each other on a regular basis. Um, I haven't played three Sanchez. He's just taught me the game in the last 10 minutes or so. And um, I'm now going to volunteer and be a, be a guinea pig. So uh, watch and enjoy my ritual humiliation. <laughs> Thank you very much, Graham. We will get on straight away. Um, right, we have already set up the game. In fact, we've left a few Nahara pieces in the middle here. We don't we don't need those. So we are going to, as you can tell, we're going to play the, the two-player game. Um, and in the two-player game, Nahera, the, the central yellow pieces, they don't uh, do anything independently themselves. Their actions are controlled by Castilla, which is me, and Aragon, which is Graham. So Graham's playing green, I'm playing red. Uh, so whenever Nahera gets an action to take, uh, you still they still have to go through the uh, routine of carrying out those actions as much as possible. But where there are choices, the commander of the round, which will be either myself or Graham, will make those choices for them. Um, I'm not going to do a full teach of this. Uh, we have got uh, a run through from Paul Grogan, which is a very good teach. Um, and we have a little bit of more information in the rule book, which is on the, the GameFound campaign and also in other videos, which you can look at. But we are going to go through the specifics of the two player. Um, so uh, let us deal the cards. So we have a 27 card hand. Oh, we're not going to use LCD. He's sitting up there, but we've decided we're not going to use him today. I'm going to keep this as straightforward as possible. So first of all, we shuffle the deck and we each get three cards. So uh, my theory is that with Tabletop Simulator, I should be, just be able to deal three to each of us. One, two, three. Now, you can see you can see my cards, but that's okay because Graham's a new player. So in order to give Graham a chance here, <laughs> we'll let Graham see my cards as well. I'm not paying any attention <laughs> to your cards. I'm looking at my own. I can't see I can't see Graham's cards at all. So um we it, to decide who starts in a two player, uh we just we just roll a dice and take the, the highest. Um, that's generally the easiest way of doing this. So whoever gets the high roll will start. Yeah, I seem to have rolled a one. Oh, and so do I. This, this is a great start. Let's do that again. <laughs> so uh, you, ha you, have the, you have the turn, sir. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Well, let's just start by playing. How do I actually play a card, Alan? Um, oh, uh, put it in the front. Put it, put it off yes, to the side somewhere. And uh, the easiest thing that we can do is I can show it uh, on the other side. But if you put it on the other side, if it's your one, that's probably a better idea. And I, what I will do is uh, I will show it so everybody can see it. The, the, we'll have this bit as a discard. Yeah. Uh, and we've each got a reserved area for our own cards uh, and we'll have keep a space down the bottom for uh, dice for battles so this card it's a two pointer so graham's commander so graham will play either one or two points on, on whenever graham chooses graham can choose to go first or in the middle or at the end um so and and we'll ignore the green action because if you're commander of the round you always play the command points you ignore your own action 
Right. So, Graham, how would you like to proceed? Okay, well, let's just... Do you want to uh, do the two points first? A recruit. And then a single point move. Come here. Nice. I see, like that. Nothing to get excited Into about. The... Okay. <laughs> uh, and then... Uh, I uh, may be interested. I have to deploy two to the home region, um, recruit any remaining. So I've got two. So I'll stick the two points from my reserve into my home castle. And that's the end of that. Now, uh, Graham then does the uh, the Nahera move, which is move two from the strongest army to an em adjacent empty region. I'll go through this in detail so that we know exactly what we're doing early on. So this means, first of all, identify the strongest army. Well, it's obvious when the is strongest army yeah. is. They've only got one, which is here. And this one is to an empty region, adjacent empty region, which is fine. There's a big choice. You can have any of the other regions, but not this one. So this one or this one or this one you can go to. And it's mm -hmm. Graham's choice. This is unlike the, unlike the solo game, where there is a mechanism for the auto Sancho's to determine where they're going to go in the two player game. It's the commander of the round who decides where they're going to go. They can't go in the, they can't go in the fort in the uh, garrison fort. space. They have to be to one side. That's there it. Cause only, it's only fortified to go in. That's it. Perfect. Um, right. And we ignore the green bit on the card and that's the end of that card. So then Graham draws a card. I would suggest drawing it rather than me dealing, because otherwise we'll both get them. There we go. Yeah. So it is now my turn. Now I have got a two point and another two point and a three point card. Um, um, I am going to play the three point card. Um, this is because I know it gives Aragon three pieces to the king, uh, but that this one gives Aragon a reserved card and this one allows Aragon to do more stuff, which we don't want. <laughs> so I'm going to play the three. Um, now, uh, I will let the other two go first because then I can see what happens and, and do my Oops. turn. Sorry. Sorry, Alan. I just moved you your card. My card. <laughs> Nick my card. I'll just put it on the, on the pile, shall I? Yeah, okay. Well, that, well actually, no, let's, keep it, let's keep it off the pile until we've and acted it because otherwise you might get confused. Oh, so first okay. thing that happens is Nahera fortifies three. If not possible, use three points to besiege most favorable. But then it is possible now. Um, it's up to me to choose. Now, <laughs> interestingly, I could just have use two of the fortification fortify points to put the Nahera army into their capital, but I can't stop Nahera actually taking a point because. Uh, I have to fortify three if I can, which means that Nahera is now winning. Nahera can win in a two-player game, although only if we are completely incompetent. Um, let's hope we're not that incompetent. The second thing is that, uh, Graham, you deploy three to king. Okay. And you can because you've got three. So they go to your king. Right, so they're going to be part it. of your field army. If I didn't have three, I could deploy as many as I could? You would deploy as many as you can and then recruit the remaining ones. Right. Okay. Yeah. You're going to have. Okay. You are going to have a big stack. Traditionally, Aragon has slightly more deploy actions than the other players. The the cards are asymmetric. Yeah. And finally, I have my three points. Notice, I just ignore the bit at the bottom because um, I am commander of the round. So um, I'm going to use uh, two points to go one, two, and then I'm going to recruit another piece and that's the end of that and then i draw uh now how do i draw um draw there we go right there we go your turn Graham. <clears throat> okay uh... i should note um, for the audience, that uh, we all start with three points in a two or three player game because the home castles are worth three, whereas in the solo game, the home castles are only worth two. 
that's one of the reasons why there's a double-sided board in the game. Okay, so I'm going to play this guy. I'll just put it down below. Graham, don't be entirely incompetent. There we go. Yes. <laughs> so let's have a look. Yep. Uh, it's a two-pointer. Um, I get to deploy you to king eventually, but we'll see. Which way do you want to do it? How, which, which order would you like to do things in? I'll go first. Okay. So I'll put one yeah, yeah. in there to fortify. And Automatically, move, immediately gain two points. There you go. Move one out to move to my rear area. Yes. That does seem like a reasonable idea. Right, and, and then, then the others. Move. I deploy two to king. Well, I can only deploy can one deploy to one. king, which is fine. I'll do so that. What's he and doing I down? What is he doing down yeah. there? Should you be I, down I, there? I, yeah, I went down. I moved down there on my turn. Yeah. That's a shame. And then you do Nahara. I do so. And you do the, the you ignore the solar bit at the bottom. Yep. So you do the top bit. Use two points. Move, attack. Let's have a look. Use two points for move, attack, not in Castilla, fortify, if not possible, besiege. Attack, not they, well, they, they can fortify, but I, I suspect that Graham will want them to attack me, <laughs> probably. Well, I, I can't. If it specifically says, when it says Castilia, it means any of the red areas. It mean, Yes, in Castilia itself, yes. But you can you can move anywhere. Um, it's only the attack which has a restriction, not in Castilia. Okay. So I could, for instance, just pick a piece up and move it through my areas. To... Yes, you could do that. Yeah, you could if you really must. Yes. Seems like a sensible <laughs> thing to do. Okay. So that was two. That's that's that gone. Yep. Okay. Draw a card. Right. Well. Um, hmm. uh, uh, what am I doing here? Let's see. Um, I will. Yeah, okay. I don't mind that. Let's. Oh, I'll tell you what. Let's keep it simple. I am just going to reserve this card. Um, so I'm going to flip it over. Well, actually, we would normally flip it over, but for the purposes of this demo, let's just leave them exposed normally you flip them but so we can easily see what they are it's a two-point card and I'm, I'm just going to reserve it so no actions happen that card can now be used in combat um oh, for re-rolls but nothing else happens in the round except that I you draw. can only have a maximum of one one you reserve card no the, the rule is if you've got a reserve card you can't choose to reserve another one but a card could instruct you to do a, to reserve a card, in which case okay. you get another one. Yeah, and that's my turn. So over to you, Graham. And the the re rolls you get for the reserve card are they based on the number of the card, or is it just one per card in reserve? No, they're based on the number of command points. Okay. Um, so if you if you have a three point um, uh, reserved card, you would have to roll re roll three dice if if there are three dice in the column <coughs> you select. So well, we'll see if there's when, when there's battles. We'll see how how this works. I think. Of course, in a two-player game, Nahara will only get a reserved card if instructed by the game. Okay. Well, this is pretty feeble, but let's just get it out there. Hmm. Graham, what have you done with that card? I think I managed to. My tabletop simulator skills are clearly lacking. <laughs> uh, rotate left. Rotate left. There we go. Good enough. We can see okay. it. Here we go. So one pointer. Do yep. you want to go? Do you want to go first or second or last with this? I one? will go first. Okay. And I'll simply. Yeah. Qualify. Okay. That's a point. Yes. I I really. Think you're getting a lot of points. It's not what I want. Now, <laughs> um, 
so I will reserve the card at the end of the round. Yeah. And then Graham, you will you use a point for Nahera to move or attack not in Nahera or besiege if not possible fortify. Besiege is not possible, so you could choose to fortify the two points in the south. When I move, if I'm not attacking, yeah. I can move as far as I want. Do you move one? One into one adjacent area. Let's just move him south. Move that yeah. one like so. okay. Nothing to see here. All right. Then I I get to reserve the card. Just yeah. to get over there. Well, I don't have two reserve cards, which is good. Nor as I said, normally they'll be upside down, but it gets messy flipping things around, so let's not bother with that. That's me. Right. Well, uh, I rather like three point cards. Let's draw a card first, but yeah. Oh, sorry. Go. Yes, please do. Um, right. Um, um, I'm. Hmm. I'm just going to. Uh, oh no, I don't like that. I want to push these guys away. Uh, right. Where's their strongest army? Is there? They've only got. They're really dispersed, aren't they, these guys? Um, okay. Okay. Uh, I will play this card. Okay. And um, I'll let everybody else go first. So at Nahara, I move for Nahara. But Nahara moved two from the strongest army to the weakest army in adjacent region. So the strongest army, they've got a two-piece army here and a two-piece army here and that's and the one down there so but the, the king breaks ties so this is their strongest army now they will never oh, they will never abandon a non-player sanchos will never abandon a, a a a castle even if you want them to i think i think we actually i'm gonna have to double check that but i'm pretty sure that that is the case um uh I know. Uh, oh wait, Sancho is no force to move. Like a quick question, Alan. Yeah, sure. Is the is the militia and the army are they considered one, even though they're in two spaces within the region? Uh, this, yeah, is is one army. Yes, okay. that is one arm. All the pieces in a region are one army. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, non player non player Sancho's. Um, I'm 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 just double checking um and trying to quote the rule for you. Uh where are we? Da, 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 da. Uh, I'm I know it says somewhere here that the auto Sancho's will never move the last piece from a garrison space. Yeah. Um no Sancho is forced to move the last piece from a garrison space. Uh, so that is the case. So he oops, he will move a piece from there to there. Because I don't want him near me. Um, and then uh, Aragon, you will reserve the card in the round. So I get to use two points. Uh, so I am going to use two points to garrison this place here. And get myself two points before Nahera nips in. And that is the end of that. But Graham, you have a card in your reserve. Okay. I draw. Uh, where's the draw? There we go. Right. Over to you, Graham. Okay. Okay, let's just play this one. So, I'm going to use two points between move and 
going to take this Navarra piece and come down and top up its people down in Saracusta. Saracusta. And you can reserve the card. I get rid of the card. Very nice. And then I'll spend two points to move uh, two pieces. Check. All right. I see. So you've strengthened them. That's a bit evil. Um, are you done? Yep. And you get so another get reserve. reserve. So whenever you do fight, it's going to be painful. Yes. That is true. Let us... Yeah, but we're not scared. Not at all. Um, okay, I think that actually... Um, it's, looking, it's looking like you could have a quick win unless I'm careful here. So I will play this card. <laughs> um, largely because Nahara gets to deploy one to the home region. Uh, which means at least you couldn't just immediately besiege it really cheaply. Hmm. Um, you will get to move. Let's do it. Let's just do it. So we'll, yeah. we'll do yours first. So uh, so it starts with yellow, um, and they just simply deploy a piece to their home region, which would be in their home castle. It's always to the home castle for preference. Then hmm. you must stop from your strongest army to an adjacent empty region. Now, your strongest army is this one. Yeah. So you have to move from from there to down here, which is probably what you wanted to do anyway. Right. And then I will get a point. <sighs> Tiresome, isn't it? Do I? Ooh, I think I'm going to go up the top. Actually, I go up the top there. Hopefully, slip another point in there. I'll draw a card, and then it's you. Yeah. And I actually forgot to draw a card before, so I'll draw it it is, it is quite important that although we control the Nahara, although we control the Nahara pieces, we can't just march the last garrison piece out. But yes. uh, we can reduce a garrison to something that um, is besiegeable. Um, so, for example, it is possible for Graham to... Um, take a piece out of that Nahara capital with the Nahara move and then try to besiege it. Yeah. And that's perfectly, that's perfectly allowable because manipulating Nahara in, in the, uh, in the two player game, manipulating Nahara is the kind of bee's knees really. Mm. This is, this is this card. So, um, how do so, you want to play this one? After you. After me, thank you kindly. Uh, so I have to move from my strongest army to an adjacent empty region. Well, that's fine from, because my strongest army is obviously here, so I just nip down to there because that's the only empty region left. Yeah. So now I'm well placed to, to, to try and fortify some places. Um, then you have Nahara. Nahara recruits or attack, if not possible, move. Uh, well, it can't that, each opponent must discard a reserve card. No, uh, sorry. Each opponent discards a reserve card, or use one point. Oh, you you could force each opponent to discard a reserve card. Oh, do actually, I suddenly thought, did we miss a reserve card for Nahara? No, we didn't. Oh, good. That's no, all right. Don't think, don't think so. So you could force me to 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 um discard a reserved card if you want, or no. you could <laughs> could move Nahara. Or, yeah, I'll move Nahara. You could you could do the you can either recruit Nahara or it, it can't attack because I'm fortified, uh, which means it could move. Oh, are you moving it back? Yes, that was a good move. Um, and, then, and then I've and then got one, at one point, yep. and that will very simply be another piece forward. Yeah. Okay. So that card is gone. And you get to draw a card. Yes, well, it's looking, it's looking like I'm going to have to try to see if I can get a hero to attack you. 
But the trouble is, the Hera hasn't got many pieces. And um, recruit, attack. Actually, actually, I quite like I quite like this one. I'm going to do this one, and um, I think we'll let everybody else go first, and I'll do my two points at the end. So, okay. uh, Graham, you get to deploy two to the home region, or failing that, recruit. So you have to recruit. I'll recruit two. Yeah. Aragon has a tendency to get high, um, large armies because um, yeah. you do a bit more recruiting and deploying. Then okay. um, I will do Nahera, which is going to – I'm not going to get – I'm not going to use the discard – possibility because that would remove one of mine but use two points between recruit and attack if not possible move so um i i think nahara can recruit somebody and then they can move because they can't they can't they, attack, can't, they can't recruit them into they can't recruit into a militia space can they they can recruit anywhere into the home region well so including could, fortified including fortified yes yes okay Re uh, recruit uh, sorry Sorry, not recruit. What am I talking about? Recruit, which is take one of these to here. Deploy yeah. would be. Sorry, they can't. They can't. They can. You can deploy into the home region, which could be either into the castle, or into the field army. Okay. Sorry, and I, I was wrong. You, it said recruit, not deploy. So I, I recruit one, uh, and then I'm going to move the king again into this area. He just doesn't I can't know. Attack. I can't attack, but I can move. Okay. And then I get my two points. Um which will be to go into here and into here and claim two points. So I now have seven. That feels a bit better to me. Draw a card. Right, okay. Graham, over to you. I feel that we need to have a fight somewhere soon. I think I need to have a fight with you, rather preferably I, using the Hera's army. <laughs> I think that's overrated right now. I think Okay, let's play this one. Come on. Okay. And use the turning thing. All right. Um, go. Okay. So what's this one do? Oh, it's a three. Okay. And you get to... Oh, uh, no, you don't. You, you've got your three points. Are you going to go first or... Yeah, Sorry. we'll go first. Go first. first. Okay. So we're going to fortify. Yeah. That's a there. point. I'll give you your point. There we go. Fortify. Fortify there. there. That was... Yeah, that's another point. You're up to eight. Points. Yeah, this is going to be difficult now. And then we're going to move one more piece forward. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Mm. Nothing to get excited about. However, then we're really? going to go for the <laughs> move three from your strongest army to an opponent's weakest army in an adjacent region, if not possible, to an adjacent empty area. Okay, so my strongest armies are the Nahara strongest army is tied. There are two possibilities. Yes. So it's your what choice. We'll, do is we'll take take move to there. Okay. Take move to there. Hmm. Yeah, you've got you've got them nicely out of the way, haven't you? Um, and then what am I doing? Uh, oh, was that that was only yeah that was it. That was yeah. that was the yellow. So, that's red. Yellow. so um, uh, three points move attack not in Castilla. Aha. Uh -huh. So I've got the option to move. Interesting. Well, why don't I go? Well, notice you can move straight out of the garrison. It's not an extra point to move out of the garrison. You just go straight out of the garrison. That's one to there. One, two. Don't like denuding that there. Then again, it is my go next. Um, Attack not in custody. I can't attack at the moment. Um, I have to, and I have to do three points if I can. Uh, this is a bit grim, so I will risk it and move that one to there. Okay. 
kind of forced me to to react, which is fine. And then you get to reserve the card. So that was your card. Draw card. Because it, oh no, it. sorry, no, you don't. Excuse me, no, you used your, you yep. used your points. You don't you don't do that. Uh, okay, so like you draw a card. Like You'd like to reserve the card, yes. Oh god, all my cards, all my cards are good for you, Graham. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, actually, that's not that's not, that's not too bad. Um, strongest army is. Um, I could choose the strongest army to be there and move it to hmm, somewhere. Oh dear, this is very difficult. Um, right, I am going to play this card. Uh, now, um, Right, I think I will let Nahara go first. And then I'll go at the end. So Nahara must move three from their strongest army to an adjacent empty region. I don't think there are any empty regions. So that, there's no empty regions. So it must move to uh it must move from its strongest army. It's to, not possible to opponent's it's not weakest, possible to opponent's weakest army. Yeah. Right. So that is I, I, I get to choose. This has got. Oh no! Is that only one piece? I thought that was two. These two. Sorry, that was got stuck together. Yeah, <laughs> these counters they sometimes get a bit sticky. Um, so I can choose whether the largest army is this one or this one. I choose this yeah. one. And yeah, the, I think the, I'm not sure you have a choice because the largest army isn't the largest army if you cannot if you can't move one piece. Surely. <laughs> oh, it is. I'm afraid it is. Is yep. it okay? Yeah, All it right. is. Yeah. I'm going to move these two pieces into here, and that I know that looks a bit strange. Uh, hang I'm on, what does it say? Three to the opponent's pieces. weakest army in an adjacent yeah. area. Yes. Yeah, I suppose the weakest army could be this one, or it could yeah. be this one. And yeah, I'd rather enough. it wasn't mine. I'd rather it was yours. I mean, that doesn't help either of us very much, to be honest. No. Uh, but then it's your go, and you have got. Three points between recruit, deploy to home region, besiege. And uh, isn't anywhere you can besiege. So we'll so deploy to home region. It. Yeah. Two. And deploy. then you recruit the re recruit the other one. Yeah. Oops. This one. Okay, that's good. And and now I get three points. So my sneaky trick. Is going to be to use the 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 use a besiege point there to besiege you, okay. and I am going to. That's one point of besiege because remember, uh -huh. besiege is uh, the one there, and then I'm going to recruit to king, which is the second point, and then I'm going to use the third one to. Um, recruit, get some more troops. So now, notice these guys couldn't intervene here because they don't, they can't intercept here because yeah. they are not green. If they were, if they were green, then they could intercept. So that's the end of the, uh, that's the end of the round. We've all done our bit. So this is now resolved. So basically, I lose a piece. Graham loses a piece, and the remaining piece drops into the fortress. So Graham loses two points, and I gain oh, nicely done two points. Just check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, I have nine. Woo uh, I don't expect that to last very long. And then I draw. There we go. That's given Graham a bit of a problem. But on the other hand, there is an Ahara army poised to besiege me in uh, in that fort, and although I and I can intercept, but my interception have to work to stop that happening. Okay, so let's play this one. So. 
So it's a three point card. Oh my god. Oh, yes, fine. Okay. <laughs> um, where would you like to start, Graham? Yeah, that is a good question. Could you just move your hand? <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> I always put my hands on the cast. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> can can you see that all right? Do you need it? Yeah, no, I can see that. Okay, fine. Right, okay. It's absolutely fine. Use three points to move, attack, fortify, blah, blah. Okay. So let's start with Nahara. Yes. I oh, know sorry. You no, you have to do things in strict order, so you can't start with Nahara. You you can start with yourself or Castilla. Well, that's sad. Yeah, they have to be done in the order on the card. Okay, let's do the order on the card then. So you get to deploy three. I deploy three to King. <laughs> well, I get I can deploy one you to deploy King. One. And then recruit the two remaining ones, which is nice. Yeah. There we go. And then I will my, the hero my does. Points. The first point is going to move their king down. Yeah. yeah. So they're, they're all there. Yes. And then the second two points are going to besiege. Two points to besiege. Yeah. So okay. I'm going to use it, use everyone to besiege. Oh, I thought you were going to attack first, which you could do. Oh, you mean attack? You could attack my army first. Uh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't be pushing you, but if no, you wanted no. to, you could what attack. Do I get out of that? If it, well, you might defeat this army completely. Because yeah. if you, if you, if you, because you've got Nahara has three points. Three, sorry, how much, has three pieces. How much does it cost me to attack? One point. One, for point, the one point. It, one point would just give you. It would give you one extra dice to me. So you would get. We'd get. We'd both get a king dice, two troop dice, but Nahara would also get an extra troop dice. So we have a slight advantage. Go on, and, then if you, and that still leaves you with a point to which I could if, if, if the end. I win, I could then besiege. Yes. If you Go feel on. you might if you feel you might lose, you which could I might lose because you've got a lot of rerolls. Yeah. But no, that, let's let's do it. Even, even if I draw out your rerolls, that's something. Yeah, okay. Right. So, so yeah. one. I just get those three. Two. So that's three dice plus an extra plus an extra one because it was attack one. Yes. Yeah. So. All right. Roll them. Uh, roll these. Roll. Oh look, it's a seven. Oh. <laughs> uh, my my king wasn't What's very good. One? It's only a three. The one can move down. The one can move down. Yeah. The seven, the seven's a bit. Eh, that's that's horrible for me. Yeah, that's that's quite good roll for an hero. Okay, so, so the seven so, takes out your five. Well, no, wait, but before re rolls, yeah. What would happen without any re rolls is the yeah. seven would kill the five, then the four, the four would, would kill, kill the three, three and then and the, three. the three would kill the two. So I would be wiped out. So really, I have got to re roll. <laughs> okay, um, and I'm uh, so I'd really like to re roll my king, but that would involve potentially re-rolling this um which isn't all that bad because um i've got a horrible two there anyway which is probably going to die let's do a re-roll of two and i okay. will pick the king column so these these two i re-roll oh uh, um it would normally be the attacker gets first choice but nahara hasn't got any cards so yeah that's one advantage i do have oops Ah, sorry. I need to click that. Excuse me. Uh, so that was a five. That didn't do me any good, really, actually. Although I got rid of that thing. But that's still, unfortunately, my king has not done any. Oh, yeah. Now, that is slightly better. Because if you kill one of these two, then I will kill one of your one of the Naharas. Yes. And then that one will then kill one of these. You could better. just choose to kill if you choose to kill that one. You see, you choose to kill that one, and 
then this one would kill this one. No, that would be it. You could use. Oh, actually, I think that's okay. I think I. Oh, I don't know. Should I risk it and re-roll my five? Absolutely again? fine, Alan. <laughs> You've saved yourself. I think I've saved it. I think we'll leave it at that. Yeah. Yeah. So. You choose. Okay. What do you do with your seven? Which which one are you going to kill? We'll it'll take out the five. Whoops. Which five? The troop or the king? The king. The king. Okay, so the king goes back home. And that goes. Okay. Uh, and then the five will kill this four. Yeah. You didn't want to. You didn't want to do that. You didn't want to do it like that. Because now you won't be able, but if you do that, you won't be able I to. Know. Um, <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> so, um, did you want to go back? No, no, no. Of course no? not. Okay. Oh, no, okay. no. There's, there's, there's no debate about. It, it so matter, no matter what I do, you'll kill my four. I'll kill your four. Yes. Yeah. So which will which will um kill a troop yeah which you just did didn't you i killed one so we're now going yeah, to kill another one we're going to kill another one yeah for the uh, for the two the two yeah. will kill the last one there you go and that's the end of that so that means there is no siege Sounds because fine. there's only there's only the king left yeah the king's guard delivered a great charge but the rest of the troops did not follow okay um, so there's still one point left, though, for Nehera. Yes. Uh, which has we'll to be, it has to be them. move, attack, not in Castilla or fortify. Ah, okay. So I can't no. move, attack. You can't. Okay, let's uh, support the king then. You can move. Yes, you can. Yes, <laughs> that makes there sense. <laughs> okay. Um, All right. That was the end of that, wasn't it? I think. Did you get? You did your. Have you? No. Have you done your three points? Yes. Oh no, I haven't. I haven't. haven't we we did. did all that stuff first. We did all that stuff first. If you get situations like that, folks, you can use these action tokens to denote that actions yeah. have been used. If, if there's done. any danger, yeah. that makes sense. But you haven't done yours. No, you haven't. No. <clears throat> so I'm going to do two points of movement. Yeah. And then yeah. one point of siege. Yeah. You are. Right. Yeah, that's fine. No, you don't need the dice. It's a siege. Oh, it, it just you happened. just stick them on top. Yeah, and there you are. Yeah, that was that was what you needed to do. So then, at the end of the round, this siege ends, and Nahera loses its its poor little uh, garrison, palace guard, <laughs> yeah. and you lose a piece. And now Nahera goes down. One, two, three. So Nahera's only got one point, which is this one. But Graham, one, two, three is on nine. So we're both on nine. This is extremely cutthroat. That's yeah. the end of that. So it's going to be. And then it's going to be. Back two, to you. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one of us needs one more point. So the thing is, I get lucky because I have a three card. So I will take my three points and I won't even bother looking at the rest of the card. Because I will just go from here, one, two moves, and a fortify for the extra point. Nice. Plunk. Yay. Well done. Wow, that was close. That was close. Yep. That's how it works. Nice. So that's the two that's the two player. That's how the two player game. Well played, Graham. That's I mean you got to nine points in your first game. Um No, you know. I, I liked it. Yeah. There's subtle little elements of the order in which the other players act and the 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 choice of which cards and trying to minimize their benefit whilst taking the most yeah no i like it yeah yeah it's it's um, in the two in the two player it very often does end up being a battle between the hera and one of the other players actually yeah. uh, which is nice and i think i think historically I think there was a battle about where where we where that Nahara Castina battle was fought, but I think it was I would think it involved Aragon as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, El Cid might have made a difference because you get El Cid if you have got the least points. The, oh, the um, the non-player Sancho's never get El Cid, so yeah. uh, 
you would have had El Cid at that at one point, in which case and what El Cid does is he allows you to nudge one of your dice up or down one in okay. a battle. So it can it can turn a battle uh, like El Cid did. Um, so that does, I think, possibly you might have squeezed it out, actually, if you'd had El Cid, if we'd been playing El Cid. Um, anyway, good. That well, was fun. Um, thank you very much. Thank Thank you very much, Graham. That's been brilliant. And cool. uh, thank you um, for all of uh, the people who are watching this video for doing that. And um, I hope that's given you a good summary of the two-player game. So now there are videos of the two-player, the three-player, and the solo um, available to everyone to have a look at. Uh, thank you very much. And bye. Cheers, guys. Bye now. Thanks.